Zoonosis is the name given to diseases, which can be transmitted to human beings, from an infected animal. Examples of zoonosis may include rabies, anthrax, plague and salmonellosis etc. Worldwide, the Zoonosis Day is celebrated on 6th July every year. The day is celebrated to recall, and show respect for Louis Pasteur, when he successfully administered the first vaccine against rabies virus in 1885. The day is celebrated in order to bring awareness in people about zoonotic infections, and risks involved. About 150 types of zoonotic diseases are known to exist. Zoonosis is derived from Greek words. People may get zoonotic diseases by contact, or bites of domestic and wild animals. Let's discuss about rabies. Rabies virus is a bullet-shaped, single-stranded RNA virus. It belongs to the genus Lysavirus and Rhabdoviridae family. The virus enters into human body by the bite of an infected animal. The virus present in the saliva of an infected animal enters the human body through the wound. The virus multiplies in the muscle cells at the site of the entry for about 48 to 72 hours. It penetrates the free nerve endings, travels in the axoplasm towards the spinal cord and to the brain. The virus moves in the axon, at a speed of 3 mm per hour, by passive movement. At this stage, the symptoms may not be seen. The virus moves rapidly to the brain, and there it multiplies. Then the virus spreads to the other parts of the body, and also to the salivary glands. Then the virus multiplies in the salivary glands, and gets ready for transmission. The incubation period of rabies in humans is usually as short as three days and as lengthy as six months. It all depends on the location of the bite. A bite on the foot will have a longer incubation period than a bite on the face, as the virus has to travel along the nerve cells to the spinal cord and finally to reach brain. The early symptoms may include anxiety, headache, fever and sore throat. These symptoms will last for one or two weeks. In the acute neurologic period, the symptoms will include hydrophobia, aggression, inconsistent and rapid breathing. It is always better to take pre-exposure vaccination. Because of the longer incubation period of the virus, post-exposure vaccination is also helpful, if the vaccine is given on right time, that is, within six days after exposure. As the prevention is always better than cure. Keeping your pet animals vaccinated, and staying away from wild animals will control the disease. If you like the video, please hit the like button or comment and share. Please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified, on the upcoming videos.